so when I was using this the other day, happened two days ago, lost two of my fingertips and my finger. Now I've been on tools 26 years. I've used a circular for over 20 years. I must have done millions and millions of cuts. Never thought a thing about it. This saw I've had for about maybe a year and a half. It's brushless, very powerful, very, very powerful saw. And it's all right people saying, oh, you should be using two hands on a saw. When you're out on site, it's a completely different ball game. You're not in a shop, you're not in a, 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 on a workbench. It's impossible to use two hands on a saw. Now, what you do need to do is you need to keep your hand away. You, your left hand, I, I normally always cut with my left hand away from uh, me saw. On this occasion, what I was doing was, is I was trimming a right thin sliver of wood. And I had it on my workbench, a metal workbench, a little stand about this high. I had it on that workbench and it was a long sliver. And I got me saw, this is a saw. You still can see the blood on the blade from where it's took my fingers off. And I was cutting like a 10 mil sliver off it. And as I was running my saw along, what I did is I just caught the end of my, um, metal bench and it kicked the saw out and because the piece of wood was so small which i was holding i couldn't get my fingers out of the way quick enough to stop the blade from going now people say oh yeah i've got a, i've got a quick fire guard what drops down that guard do not serve a purpose it didn't achieve anything can you see how that blade so uh, even though i got it away that's how it went. It went straight through my hand like that. And I cut my hand. And I cut that finger and that finger, the tips completely off. Now, when I was in hospital on the theatre table, I was awake and the surgeon was talking to me and she was saying, we should be doing a video and explaining how dangerous these saws are. Now, they are the best thing ever since sliced bread. And I can't really do without one. I do actually feel sick just holding this. So uh, I'm going to have to get rid of this saw and get another one. Just in case it's jinxed. But what I'm trying to get across is never take your guard off. And that day, what I should have done with, with that, when I was cutting that little sliver, I should have had it on a scrap piece of wood laid it flat, set me death. If I would have set that to the depth of the wood, when it come up, or when it gone under, I wouldn't have caught my fingers. But because I didn't, I had it full, set full, uh, and the wood I was cutting were only 20 mil. When, when it hit my bench and kicked out, um, that's what took my fingers off and the guard don't stop you. So uh, she was saying there were so many people, there were six people in that day in, in LGI when I were having operation. Some of them lost all their fingers. I'm really lucky that I didn't lose all my fingers and I only lost the tips. And even though I'm in a lot of pain and my fingertips are gonna be short because I couldn't put them back on, I'm still gonna be okay and I'm still gonna be able to work touch wood. There's a lot of people, at least three of them lads in in LGI the other day, they won't be working again. Not with this hand. And that's how dangerous it is and how important it is to always think of when you're cutting. When you're cutting, I, I cut, just as long as you've got your hand away, I use this guide a lot. This guide I use a lot. And when I'm using it, I always keep two fingers on that guide and run my saw like that. And, and then when it kicks out, I've got my hand on there so it can't move. That day, I had my hand on the wood. And when I hit the metal, um, the metal bench, the saw just kicked up and I wasn't quick enough to get my hand out. And it just took it off. So uh, if I would have been using my guide, 
or if I would have laid it flat on the floor, stood on top of it, did it with a depth gauge, it would have avoided that issue. From now on, that's what I will be doing. But when you're on when you're on site and you're working to a schedule, sometimes times money. Uh, I won't say you're cutting all or cutting corners or cheating death. It's just in our trade. Our trade it, it's very dangerous. And sometimes you just gotta get job done. But you need to do it safely. Otherwise you end up like this. And that with me being on this and I use these, I, I religiously think these are my, like my right arm. Do you know what I mean? I think I was born with machines. And for it to happen to me, I still can't believe what actually happened. And I can't believe how many people get injured by these. Just for, purely and simply just the lack of concentration. And it, it, the main issue is, is, if I would have laid that wood flat on a piece of timber and then set my gauge to the right, uh, to the right depth of the wood, and run it straight across there, I wouldn't have had to hold the wood in the first place, but because I had it on my bench, I were holding it and feeding it through my saw. And that's how I did it. Ideally, you should cut with two hands, but it's impossible in our game. You have a lot of cynics and say, oh, well, you should have two hands on saw. It's impossible. You use a circular saw to make the job quicker. You haven't got the time to stand about in a factory or in your workbench to use two hands on a saw. We're out in the field. We're doing it. Half the time, there's no way to cut. You have to cut in tight, confined spaces. What you do have to do is make sure you're safe and make sure you're aware. If it hits all, it's going to kick back and it could take your fingers. That's, that, that's the most guidance I can give you whatever you're cutting on make sure if it's going to kick back your hand's not near it because I, I, I will try to dictate to you and say you shouldn't have two hands on saw because I, I'm, I live in the real world and that's not possible on all sides it's, it's just not possible to do that in an ideal world yeah you would but in the real world reality it's not just make sure you keep your left arm away from the blade so if it does kick back you're away from it and it's not going to catch you and just be safe just take my lesson as a warning to everyone no matter how good you are with a saw this can happen and it's happened to me just be safe everyone. Now this is a saw which nearly ended my career. All from a split second. That's the dried on blood. Around my blade. And been used since the cut. Very powerful saw. Lovely to use. Kick back. Is unbelievable and I have used this saw over I must have done over a million cuts with it and never ever had an issue only takes once uh, and once all it takes two fingertips off and third one thank you very much for watching MJC kitchens and bathrooms don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget, if you want any top tile bit, 6mm, the best on the market, there's a link on my page. Click on it. £10 a pack plus £2 postage. There's none better. Cheers.